Hello, hello. I give no, no ammunition to the devil tonight. I give him none. All praise, honor, and glory be to God. This is a continuation of the video that I started, but for some reason, um, I'm still having some te technical difficulties. So, as I was saying, as we know, good night again, everyone. May God bless you as you join in. As we know, as we know, um, as the story goes, excuse me, David, good night, Letitia, good night. As we know, David ended up killing Goliath. He ended up doing to Goliath what Goliath said um, he would do to David. David ended up winning the reward of having the king's daughter uh, being tax-free. He didn't have to pay tax for the rest of his life. He ended up, I think, being second in charge of um, in, in charge of Israel affairs. Um, and so when you, my God, when you um, are being called, when you are being called by destiny to show up, and take your place and you do then you will begin to see that god begins to make unprecedented or precedented um opportunities um god begins to um open up doors for you when you when destiny calls you and you answer you're not afraid to step up to the plate. You're not afraid to step in position. When this happens. Then you are rewarded. For your courage. Your courageousness. You are rewarded. For. Being in position. And so. David. David eventually became um king um he was next in line my god had david not moved when his father sent him out to his brothers david may have missed that opportunity to become king had david not obeyed his father and went out to carry bread and and, and water for his brothers he may have missed his opportunity to be blessed, to be used by God, to be king of Israel, helping to look after others. In his place may, may have very well showed up a wicked king, a wicked person. And so you see, oh my God, it is so important for you, my God, to know when it's time to move, it is important to you, for you to know what battles it is that you have to fight. My God. And so, um, I'm going to repeat where I am getting my story from today. I'm getting my story based on, hi Higgins, how are you doing? Good night, good night, good night. Um... I am getting my story um, from 1 Samuel uh, chapter 17 from verse 20 to 58. Um, it's so good to have you here, guys, watching with me. Um, uh, if you can share the video, I would appreciate that because it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And like I said, I'm not going to be very long. So moving on. You have to... Not allow anyone to discriminate your age. Don't allow anyone to discriminate your youth. Oh, he's too old. Oh, he's, he like, like Goliath said, this little dog. Do you send a little dog to fight big man like me? Me. Me. One of the top officers in the army of the Philistine. You send him to fight me? 
There it goes, the inferiority. Oh, now Goliath is more superior than David. Okay. All right. So you have not seen my resume. And this is the attitude we need to have with some people. Oh, so you think I'm not qualified. You think I'm not worth it. You think I ain't ready for this position. Oh, you think because you was here longer than me that I'm not going to get a chance to shine bright like a diamond. Okay. You think that, but I'm going to show you. This is the fact. I'm going to show you that I'm going to come up in here and I'm going to do what you never did in the le least time it takes to do it. Declaration number one. Don't underestimate me because I am young. Don't underestimate me because of my age. Don't underestimate me because of where I came from. Don't. Declaration number one. Declaration number two. Do not misinterpret my calling. Don't try to figure me out. Don't try to pin stuff on me. You understand what I'm saying? If I'm a prophet, if I'm an evangelist, don't try to say I am a, a usher. Don't try to say I am a pastor. Okay? Don't try it. Declaration number three. You have to, to learn how to declare your own victory. My God. You have to know that you are a winner. You have to know that you are a winner before you even start your battle. Before you even take up that case. You have to know that you got this. You have to know that you are a conqueror. You have to know that even though you may be in the background, it's only a matter of timing before you reach the front row. It's only a matter of time before the spotlight is on you. And not because you want the spotlight on you, but it's because this is God's destiny for you. God's destiny is to move you from the back burner, from the back, and put you to the front. God's destiny is for you to become the head and not the tail. God has predestined for you to lead. Moving on. I believe we are at number four. Number four. You have to know what makes you valuable. You have to know who makes you significant. And I say to you tonight that if you do not know who makes you valuable, who makes you significant, that is something that you have to go and do. Yeah, your significance comes from who you are, but more importantly, your significance come from who your daddy is. <laughs> oh, glory. My God, you hear what I say? Your significance come from who your father is. I don't know if you're not a Bahamian or for the other nationalities. I don't know how... Y'all do it. But I know that in the Bahamas, this how we look at it. This the law. It's who, your, it's who is your daddy. That's how we do it. So your significance come from who is your father. And like me, I don't know if you're like me, but for me, my father is... A king. My daddy is a king. And so that makes me a princess. 
Give me some love. Give me some love if you agree with what I say. If your daddy is a, if your daddy is a king, that would make you a princess. Show me some love. Give me some hearts. Put some heart up on the screen if you agree with what I'm saying. Come on, people. Give me some love. Give me some love. Give me some love, people. Give me some love. If you are agreeing with what I'm, with what I'm saying, give me some love. Give me some love. Yes. Give me some love. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Hi, hi. Thank you, Leticia. I just want to um, make sure that I haven't lost you guys. So I just I just I just don't want you to you guys to be sitting there, you know. Um you feeling all alone by yourself and me sitting here all alone by myself. <laughs> but like I was saying, my dad is a king. And so that makes me a princess. And listen, I'm gonna stray away from that a, just just a little bit. I'm gonna stray away from that just a a little bit. Um, listen, ah, listen, God is so good, man. I can't, I can't begin. I can't begin, but I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best to try to explain to you how good God is. So here it goes. I was at work, uh, yesterday, yesterday or day before yesterday. Thank you, baby. You're still there. Thank you very much. And someone gave me a hundred dollars. For something to do for them. And when I reached home, I took out my keys and everything. I put up my bag. The next day I'm looking for this hundred dollars. I can't find the hundred dollars. So I said, Oh Father God, you got to help me because this hundred dollars don't belong to me. And I don't have a hundred dollars to replace this hundred dollars. I said, Lord, you have to do something. So I got a friend and I began to go along with me and I began to retrace all of my steps. I began to, to, to retrace my step. And 